Hey guys, welcome to our Fitbit Charge 3 hands-on review. Now, this is the follow-up to 2016's Fitbit Charge 2, but it's a little bit smarter than that one, a bit closer to a smartwatch, but it's still a fitness tracker. Let's jump into it. The Fitbit Charge 3 has a 40% larger screen than the Fitbit Charge 2. It also has a higher resolution grayscale display protected by Gorilla Glass 3. The design is thinner with softer angles and the heart rate tracker sits flush at the bottom of the device. I've worn it and I found it comfortable to wear. When it comes to health and fitness, this is better than the Charge 2 in every way. It has an SpO2 sensor, includes both hydration and sleep tracking. It's swim proof up to 50 meters and it works in the sea. You can also set workout goals directly from your wrist. So you can decide how many calories you want to burn and you won't have to head back to your smartphone to set that up. But what if you don't want to set your goals? Well, you can just start exercising and it will automatically track your runs or your cycles. The Charge 3 also tracks female health, quite like the Ionic and the Versa, and we're even going to see ovulation tracking in the future, but that's not on the device just yet. Plus, everything we saw on the Fitbit Charge 2 is here as well, including the 24-7 heart rate tracking features. But again, there's no GPS tracker in here. You'll have to use your smartphone if you want to track your location. This could be the first charge device that could replace your smartwatch. Third-party notifications are also supported here, unlike on the Fitbit Charge 2. And if you have an Android phone, you'll also be able to reply with some apps. Other smart features include an alarm, a timer, even the weather, and also the ability to answer and decline calls. But not all of those are going to be available at launch. Fitbit's also claiming a seven-day battery life on the Charge 3. That's two more days up from the Charge 2, and we'll be sure to test that for our full review. Coming in at even less than the Charge 2 cost, you can now head to techradio.com for your country's full pricing details. Thanks for watching.